everybody. Welcome to the Roy D. Bib Creations channel. My name is Mary and this week my video is going to be a video about what to do when something doesn't actually pan out the way you want it to. Um, actually, I absolutely love the way the project turned out even though it's not what I originally intended. But it just goes to show you that with a little imagination and a little creativity that you can come up with something that you're going to love just as much. Um, so enjoy the video. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Share. Tell your friends about it. And come on back every week. And uh, let's make something new and fun out of something old and dull. All right? See you later. Have a good week. Bye. I have a lid from a coffee can bleach on it. I have a stamp and I've already started on the shirt. I'm just stamping it on with bleach and then I'm going to embellish it. Okay, just dip it Shake it off. Bring it over to the shirt. Find a spot. Press it down. And then it dripped. Pull it up. You'll see that. And then that will eventually. And then just kept going. That's how it's starting to turn out. And we're going to embellish it after I get all this print. Then what I also did was in between, I just put some like insert of a newspaper in there and uh, just move it around so it doesn't really transfer. And you're not getting it soaking wet anyway. And then when this gets pretty wet, where I don't want to really have it against my fabric anymore, then I will just take and flip it inside out and then restick it in because it'll be just fine. Then I can just continue using it on the shirt. I put the shirt in the dryer for a while and let it dry so that I can turn it. Now I'm doing under the arm because I want it to go seamlessly. I don't want it to stop, you know, like have a line right here. So I'm just going to keep continuing on dipping my stamper and putting it on the shirt and moving on from there and then we'll eventually work towards the back. I see on the back that some did get through but that's okay because as we're putting on the um, stamp it's all gonna come out all right. Just a lot of repositioning, positioning your paper that's in there or whatever you got in between there. I have a shirt, uh, a, a um, cardboard insert to put in there, but it's got colors on it and I didn't really know how it would react with the bleach getting on it. So I opted for this right here. So, and we're almost finished with this. Pop it back in the dryer and then we will move in between dipping it. I shake it really good like that then I come over and do a quick press lift that's all I do oops pick a spot quick press and lift keep doing that changing your position from time to time come over press lift okay and that's all you do now I would suggest while you're doing this to move quickly when you're coming over and don't put the bleach right next to the shirt because that would probably be disastrous. Well, as you can see, it doesn't even look the same, does it? Well, that's because when I went with the spray paint, well, with the, the homemade spray paint, it did not spread out like I wanted it to. 
So what I ended up doing was just, I went ahead, I'll show you the back. Okay, so this is what it looked like after I got done spraying it. I, you can kind of see the leaves in there that I did, that whatever did stick because I had to wash it. And then I, I threw some uh, bleach on there. Um, and then I washed it and then I put it in the dryer. And this is what the result was. As, like haphazard or mistakes and that stuff. So I was like, well, I can't live with that. So then I decided to get out my tulip spray paint and do the front. So then this ended up being the end result. You can't really see like everything like I can in person, but um, I don't know. I'll wear it <laughs> but as you can see is that sometimes things don't turn out the way you want them to so what you do is you just improvise and um, this was I used a curtain a lace curtain and I laid it over it and then I sprayed a little bit of white and then I ran out of the white and I didn't have any more so then I get took out the black and I sprayed the black on and then after I sprayed the black on it, I didn't move the curtain or anything. Then after I sprayed the black on it, then I sprayed um, the metallic, uh, like glitter paint. It's made by Tulip. Let me show you what that. These are the paints that I use. This is the black. This is the Tulip. I already threw the white away because I ran out of that. Um, you don't, um, but I recommend doing it. Outside or in a spot where uh, it, it, you're going to get overspray, it will spray around. So don't spray it in like a kitchen because you're going to get it everywhere. Um, I sprayed it at an angle. Um, if you if you do spray from like this angle, what will happen is these will lift up. So you don't want to spray them that way. You must spray it from this angle this way. Um, and that's what I did. To get this result well it's a happy mess up but um but just to go to show you that you know not so this is a close-up I think that it turned out really cute um, I love how it looks like it's part of the like it's printed on there I really love that just practice this was on a whim kind of thing I started off doing one thing and ended up with this which um, I, I'm pretty happy I'm pretty happy with it but um, it's not what I wanted but all the same I will wear this all right everybody that's it